find the square root of 23 to find the square root first we should frame it in this way c that is 23 okay next now here we have 23 23 is not a perfect square so now we should check 23 will lie between which two perfect square numbers and the perfect square numbers are these that is 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 5 into 5 25 and so on these numbers are called perfect squares here we have 23 it lies between these two numbers so we should take the smaller number that is 16 16 is for 4 4 16 so we take 4 here 4 here 16 now you subtract 23 minus 16 is 7 now here we should add these two numbers and write so 4 plus 4 8 okay now we should write a number here but when I write the number here then this number is smaller than this so in normal division what we used to do we put a dot and take 0 here but over here we should take two zeros while finding the square root we should take two zeros remember that next i should write a number here condition is whatever number i write here here also i should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this number so let us find the number here if we take 2 here that is 82 into 2 2 2 is 4 2 8 16 164 is far away from 700 so if we take 8 88 into 8 see these two numbers should be same so 8 into 8 64 so 4 6 8 into 8 64 plus 6 70 so when we take 8 this is exceeding so you take 7 7 into 7 49 9 4 7 8 56 plus 4 60 so we take 609 is for the number 7 so you take 7 here 7 here and here 609 now you subtract so 6 9 10 10 minus 9 1 9 minus 0 9 6 minus 6 0 here we should add these two numbers and write 87 plus 7 is 94 now i should write a number here but when i write the number here then this number will be smaller than this we already have a decimal so you directly take two zeros while finding the square root we take two zeros not one okay next now here i should write a number condition is whatever number i write here here also I should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this number okay so let us find the number here if we take 8 so 9 4 8 we should also multiply by 8 8 into 8 64 4 6 8 4 32 plus 6 38 
8975. This is far from this. So if we take 9, 749 into 9, 9 nines 81, 1 8. 9 fours 36 plus 8 44. So 4 4. 9 nines 81 plus 4 85. We cannot take 10. So we have to take 9 itself. So 9 here, 9 here and here 8 5 4 1. Now you subtract. So here 0, 9, 10. 10 minus 1, 9. 9 minus 4, 5. Here 8, 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 8 minus 8, 0. Here we should add these two numbers and write. 949 plus 9 is 958. Okay. Now here we should write a number. But when I write the number here, then this number will be smaller than this. We already have a decimal. So you directly take two zeros. Now I should write a number here. Condition is whatever number I write here, here also I should write the same number. And also when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but should not be larger than this okay so let us find the number here here it is 9000 here 55000 so let us check with 5 that is 9585 we should also multiply by 5 these two numbers should be same so 5 into 5 25 5 2 5 8 is 40 plus 2 42 so 2 4 5 5 is 25 plus 4 29 so 9 2 5 9 is 45 plus 2 47 what if we check with 6 9 5 8 6 into 6 6 into 6 36 so 6 3 6 into 8 48 plus 3 51 so 1 5 6 5 is 30 plus 5 35 so 5 3 6 nines 54 plus 3 57 so this is exceeding it so we should take 5 and 5 this number so you take 5 here 5 here and here 4 7 9 2 5 you subtract and it goes on it is enough if we find up to three decimal places so the square root of 23 is this one, 4.795 and it goes on. So this is our answer. Am I clear?